Welcome back, guys, um, to another edition of Hef's Virtual Art Class. Today, we're going to be helping out a student who has asked for a little help with a giant panda. So, here we go. Let's see. So, if you would like to learn how to draw a giant panda, this is, and it's going to be cartoon. It's going to be easy. Don't worry. And I'm going to keep it simple. So, I'm going to start off with the head. And I'm going to do a curve like that. So, I got a curve and then a zigzag. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to finish that curve. Just like that. Oop, I can bring it down a little bit more. Then I'm going to do some zigzags over here. Some zigzags over here. And then we're going to connect these together with a curve. Just like that. Getting the shape of the head. Now, for the ears, we're going to do like round shapes. Almost like C's, like letter C's. Capital letter C's. No, no lowercase to be too tiny. And he couldn't hear anything. Okay. Now, pandas have like this black color around their eyes. All their ears are black too. So, you know, if you wanted to color their ears in black, you could. Up to you. Um, now, this black around their eyes is kind of, it's not like huge, but it's pretty big. So, we're going to do some kind of oval shapes, but kind of like, Leaning in like this. See how they're kind of leaning in? Like that. I kind of angle in. In the middle, we're going to do... Looks like a little V. And then round the top off. This is nose. And you can do a little line coming off the bottom. Just a little tiny one. A little mouth in there. He's coming together. He's looking good. Okay. Now for the eyes though, we're going to do big circles. Right? And then we're going to do a smaller circle in each of those. And then in there, we're going to do an even smaller circle, but kind of towards the corner. That's the little highlight of his eye when he's looking at you. See? Kind of cool, right? Okay. So we're done with the face. Now, if you want to know what to color in, obviously, you color in like those parts of the eyes. You color around this big part right here and here. His ears, his own nose. In his mouth. Cool. Now, for the body. Oh, hang on, pull this closer. Look how cute he's looking, right? Okay. For the body, we're going to make him look like Mr. Hefner. <laughs> we're going to do big old left parenthesis and a big old right parenthesis. Notice they're not connected to anything. See, if you look, connected they're close and I think I got that one a little too close that one's not down far enough well is that better okay now for his arms it's the easy part I'm gonna take and kind of go over a little bit touch the side of the face and you're gonna come down and just kind of curl it in like a J like a hook Right, and then you can give him some fingers, two little lines, two little lines like that. Right, and you can do this curve line across the top of his belly. And that goes to show you where you can, like, this his arms, the top right here, and all that will be black. His belly will be white. And then 
and do a little line that kind of comes under like this. So all that belly is going to be white. And then right here in the middle to like a, almost like an upside down V, right? It's going to make his little feet. And here for his feet, you just do some little rounded, a little round of booties. Look, he's so cute. And there you have it. You have a giant panda. So cute. Good luck, guys. And for coloring, uh, I guess I can go ahead and color this real quick. Yeah, my marker's dying. I had a feeling it was going to do that. Sorry, guys. I'll kind of show you where everything's colored in there. So the ears are colored in. And the eyes. It's not going to make it, guys. The marker's dying. And of course, there's no way I can do that with this. But you get the hopes. All this will be colored in, and the feet will be colored in. Leave the belly white. <clears throat> there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helps the person that was asking for this. Um, we're going to be doing some more animal drawings because we go to classes doing animal drawings, and we've also got a class that's doing self or portraits, which I've done some videos on self portraits, but we might go into more detail about how to do the face. So stay tuned this week, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys.